Today we'll be making uh, liposomal C, vitamin C and I use the process as described on this website qualityliposomalc.com so I highly recommend you read everything on this website before you get started and then once you have gathered the materials I'll show you how we do it. Most of the ingredients you need can be found on amazon.com use the uh, sunflower lectosin from now which is a uh, instead of the soy product because we would rather have the uh, sunflower and not the modified soy products that the others have. You need pharmaceutical grade sorbic acid it's also available on amazon.com and other things I got on amazon.com were some uh, standard beakers one liter beakers and also a ultrasonic machine. This is a rather inexpensive one and it's uh, about eighty dollars on Amazon.com. A more powerful machine will allow you to do this quicker and, more, and some more expensive machines have some more features but this does a suitable job. One more item that you uh, will need is a digital kitchen scale. This one can get it, you can buy it at Amazon as well and it will show, what I like about it, it shows weights and grams, ounces, and it also has a what's called a tear feature so that when you set an item on there, like this beaker, I'm setting the beaker on there right now, it shows the weight of the beaker, I can zero it out so when I add my ingredients, this the uh, scale will read the actual amount of the ingredients. Other ingredients you need is uh, some kind of alcohol, and I've gotten some Everclear pure grain alcohol. This is the 151 proof. In some states, you can buy the 190 proof. On the website, he has different mixtures depending on the quality of the alcohol. And also, you'll need distilled water. Well, let's get started making up the uh, mixture of alcohol, vitamin C, and water. So I have my scale. I'm going to take my one quart beaker, set it on the scale. See, it'll show the weight of the scale. I'll hit the tear button. Now since I'm using the 151 proof alcohol, if you go to the website, use the 70% alcohol table. If you're not familiar with proof, proof, if you take the proof and divide it by two, they'll tell you the percent of alcohol that is in the um, that's in the drink. So we, for the 70% alcohol, requires 450, 415 grams of water, so I'll add water until it reaches 415. There's 415. Now next I'll add the alcohol and that will be 177 grams of alcohol. I'll just reset this. It goes back to zero so I have to just pour until it reaches 177. So here goes the alcohol. Close enough. Now once again I'll reset the scale to zero and I'll add, add the ascorbic acid and the ascorbic acid is going to be 160 grams of ascorbic acid so I'll go ahead and add that. I'll just finish adding the ascorbic acid and I'll add 160 grams of ascorbic acid. So you see it's a very cloudy mixture. Ascorbic acid is going to settle to the bottom. Now what we're going to do is try to dissolve all the ascorbic acid into the water and alcohol mixture and with that and to do that I have the ultrasonic machine. I've already uh, put water in my ultrasonic machine. This is a two quart machine and the uh, idea is to 
put enough water so if I take the speaker and push it all the way to the bottom and check the maximum allowable water level which is printed on the back of the tub make sure it reaches the max level now what I do is when it's when I'm mixing it is I want the beaker to be lifted suspended just slightly off the bottom to get the most energy to the liquid now to do that I've cut out a hole in a piece of cardboard so you got a couple of paint sticks here now I have a piece of cardboard with a hole cut out in it place it there and you probably notice I had rubber bands that are already pre-positioned on the beaker I set the beaker down in there and the rubber bands will stop it from falling at the proper level and now my bottom of my beaker is just slightly above the base of the tub now this button I'll set will give me increments of five minutes I'll go ahead and take it to 30 and I'll start the machine also this has a heater and you may want to heat up the water a little bit but you don't want to get it too hot the idea is to get it around 95 degrees about 35 Celsius all right I want to pause this a second you see it's gone for about 10 minutes and I want to show you another item that I use is they call it a digital thermal thermometer you can find these at any auto part place or one of the big home improvement stores and it's handy to check the temperature of the mixture I get this point and pull the trigger and it's showing degrees Fahrenheit now let's change it to uh, Celsius and currently my water is at 22.5 I'll start it up and um, get a better reading because I want to want to make sure that I have have it fully mixed before I read it as they say it's showing 20 almost 26 degrees I want to continue to let the heater run until it gets about to 30 degrees and I'll shut the heater off and the thing to remember as the ultrasonic machine is working it is adding heat energy to the mixture just from the ultrasonic um, vibrations all right I pause the machine at the 15 minute mark I want to stir it up and I'll check the temperature again the heater's still on I think it's about time to turn the heater off yeah it's showing now almost 20 I don't know if you would say that 27 28.7 degrees almost 29 degrees I'll go ahead and shut the heater off because the water inside the bath inside the machine is a lot warmer than what's inside the beaker right now so we'll go ahead and let it keep running with the heater off the machine's been going on for a little, going on for a little over 20 minutes now see the time is uh, 9 minutes and 30 seconds I'm going to stir this check the temperature I don't know if you noticed prior to my stirring it you can see, start to see a hole in the bottom of the uh, vitamin C you can see the bottom of the uh, beaker and right now the temperature is 88 degrees or 32.2 so our temperature is just about right the uh, vitamin C doesn't have much more to dissolve you probably start to see the hole develop in the bottom so once all the uh, granules have disappeared then we're done okay we going for a little bit of there's very little granules so the sorbic acid left to dissolve. So I'll just stir it. I'll check the temperature one more time. And we'll see we're 93, 95 degrees, which is right at our target of uh, 35 Celsius. So a couple more minutes and then we're done. Now I'll stop the machine. The ascorbic acid is fully dissolved. It took the, almost the entire 30 minutes on the machine if you need more time just hit the set button and it'll add you more time check the temperature here and it's 96 95 degrees Fahrenheit 35 Celsius that's where we wanted it so that is done now the next step is to add the lecticin all right I got my scale back out and I'm going to zero it set it to zero and now I have my blender jar and I'm just going to set that on the scale zero it and then I want to pour in 197 grams of lecticin into the blender jar. All right, I have 197 grams of lecticin in the blender jar. And when you're adding it, watch out for these little guys, the little moisture package designed to absorb moisture that are inside the jar. 
you don't want that inside your mixture. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take our blender jar. I'm going to take our mixture of the water, alcohol, and vitamin C. Pour it up. Put this on the blender and let it blend for about five minutes. All right, so it's blended for about three to four minutes. And you see it's nice and liquidy. I'm going to let it cool off when I'm putting it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Let it cool off, then repeat the blend cycle and cool off and do this about five times so that we'll get a, a good 15-20 uh, minutes of blending total before we put it back in the ultrasonic machine. All right, I've blended the uh, liposomal C for about five minutes every hour. I put it in the refrigerator in the between blending to cool it off. You don't want to let it get too hot while you're blending. So now I'm pouring it back into the beaker. And our next step is I'm going to put it in the ultrasonic machine to help drive the bubbles out of the solution to the top. So I'm going to let it sit in the ultrasonic machine for about 30 minutes to um, push the bubbles out. So I'll set it back in the machine. Set it up. Run for 30 minutes. Well, let the uh, lipsome C sit in the uh, ultrasonic machine for an hour and it really didn't produce much bubbles. Usually, I'll have a foam layer that I can scrape off with a spoon. I'm not sure if today it didn't do that because it's a little colder outside or my mixture is a little thicker. But um, so we're done. I want to see how much I made. This beaker with the rubber band weighs 400 and 10 grams so we got 900 and well, just under 900 grams of um, liposomal C made and if you look at the uh, website you'll see that each serving contains 17 percent of vitamin C so if you measure out your servings and then multiply it by 0.17 you'll figure out how many uh, milligrams of uh, vitamin C you get